coronavirus is crawling around out there and you can't go get a haircut because the barber is closed and you gotta look good for work and you still gotta go to work even though everybody else is off. Well, I'm gonna show you how to cut your hair on your own. All right, so here's everything you're gonna need to cut your own hair. So you're gonna need a pair of clippers. This is Pilot. Don't use the ball trimmer, it's not gonna work. Here we have our guards. We have a number one, two, three, and four. You're gonna need all of these, maybe a four, maybe not, depending on how long you'd like your hair to be. You're gonna need a big ass comb, some scissors. They don't have to be really haircut scissors. You are gonna need a hat. Now that I've shown you all the tools, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is wet your hair. Just a little wet, not too much. All right, so now that we got kind of wet hair, I showed you one of these earlier. I like to get all the hair that's gonna be separated from the side. This might not be your hairstyle, but this is what I do. There you go, just like that, it's gonna separate the top from the side. Cause the top's gonna to be obviously longer than the sides. I don't do it so much with the other side cause my hair goes this way. So I don't really need to do it all that much. Uh, it's gonna be covered up anyways. All right, so the next step is to grab your number four guard here. Plug in your clippers, clip it on. The one thing you wanna remember is you always wanna go from longest guard to shortest guard. So you're gonna to wanna to do longest first so that you're tapering down to skin. So this might not get anything up to the longest point that I want on the sides, but that's okay because if we don't get anything, then I didn't cut it too short. So we're gonna taper ourselves down. Now another important thing to note is when you do this, Go up and out, up and out, so like that. See, it's not getting anything, but that's okay. In a little thing here and there. You're gonna wanna go up and out like that, just so you're not messing anything up. You're not going up your head or anything like that because we're doing a taper down, like a medium high fade. It's not getting anything, so we're gonna move to number three. So this should start getting it getting the hair at its longest point. It's getting up a little bit. If your hair is longer than mine right now, because I just did this almost a week ago, it's gonna be a little bit shorter for my head as of right now, because I did this about a week ago. So just remember, start with the four, work your way down. Let me get our trusty mirror. Again, up and out. So we're getting little bits of it, but that's good. Like I said, top down. You're gonna go from four and work your way down. So now we're getting a little shorter. We're working with a number two. Now just remember, up and out. Being a little bit more careful now. This is a shorter style of haircut. So now we're starting to get somewhere. It's nice and even. Not getting what you're not supposed to. Remember to slap out the excess here. All right, so now I have a pretty good trim of what I want for the upper parts of the sides and back of my head. So now we're gonna go further down to number one. If you have to sometimes re-wet your hair, just so you're not getting hairs that you're not supposed to be getting, everything is out of the way. Now with how short my hair is, you can hear it starting to get stuff. Just remember to be careful, watch what you're doing, up and out. You definitely wanna be careful when you're down to a one, use your mirror. Looking pretty good. So now here's where the hat comes in. We're gonna go down to skin. So why the hat? Well, I use the hat as a guide because we're gonna cut a straight line down to the skin. And we want a straight line for that. So it's gonna look, look kind of funny at first because then it's gonna be 
hair and then just skin. But we're gonna, we're gonna work on fading that in in a couple minutes. Put on your hat and then look to see. I like a medium to high fade kind of right here. So that's where I'm gonna rest the side of the hat. Just remember to keep it taut. You can tighten it up so it doesn't go anywhere. So then with no guard on, you can follow this line. So it'll be nice and straight and not fucking cattywampus. Make sure your hat's on straight and that that line is gonna look good. You might have to pick up the back of your hat because hats naturally move lower. So if you want a straight, straight line, move back of the hat upwards. It all depends on how you like your fade. So this is for by yourself. If you're by yourself, you don't have a significant other, you don't have a parent, a roommate that'll help you out real quick. Um, if you don't have that, then this is your solution. But once again, we are down to the clipper. No guard. So with this little lever here, you can shorten the blade and elongate. So I usually just do short. Here it is going down to skin. Again, using that hat as a guideline. Right when you feel it, especially in the back, right when you feel it hit that hat. Just kind of careful and back away so you don't press the hat up and mess up your line. Just push your ear down and get all around. Try to get down below too in your neck. I really didn't need a mirror for this part, I'm just getting my neck hair. Now you can recheck with your mirror, see that it's even, to see that you've gotten everything, there's no patches. All right, we're looking good. It's gonna look really weird when you take your hat off. You can probably see now that you have a distinct line there. So here's the part we're gonna go ahead and even everything up. All right, so it's less pronounced on me right now because I just cut my hair like a week ago. There's, you can probably see a little line right here. And if your hair is longer, it's gonna look even dumber. So what we're gonna do is even that up and just go from skin straight to fade. And again, I know a lot of you have significant others out there that can do all this stuff and do it back for you. But if you are lonely and you don't have anybody, you can use the hat trick. This little lever that I showed you earlier, I like to making the blade close, push it back and you can see it distance. So again, be sure to be careful go up and out right where that line is. All right, so we're getting her all faded in now. Just get your mirror like and check like they do at the barber and you say, oh, very nice, very, oh, very well. Turn your head in different directions and angles. Make sure for the most part, you've got everything. So this is what it's looking like so far. I don't think we have to do a complete head shave as of now. All right, so I checked and we're doing pretty good here. Now we have to re-wet the hair and get the top cut. This is where you need your trusty comb. You're going to be able to grab your hair like this and make your cuts. So I like to have my hair go this way. So over here is gonna be longer than on this side. So just keep in mind how your hair falls or however you like to style your hair. Remember lengths might be different on each side. You get your comb, grab that hair. Start snipping at that new angle if you can. And go right next to it. And get more. And 
And then you can work your way back. If you can, do little snips like this to make it look not so straight across. Make sure there's no like weird hair sticking up. You can still pull up your hair and see which areas are longer than others. So I still have to kind of get the back. There you go. Not bad so far, not bad. And then just like before, keep checking. Pull your hair up. See if there's any spot that's particularly longer than others. Try to do your little angle cuts. Try not to get too deep into it. Like, you know, don't grab all this hair. Like, try to see if you can have just a little bit on the ends of your fingers so that you can trim little bits at a time and you're not getting a huge clump, you know, cut out of your hair. And that's pretty good. There's nothing that's, you know, way longer than the other pieces. Everything's even. And there you have it. So, not bad, not bad at all. As you can see, I like my hair a little bit longer on top. Not your traditional short cop cut where like you definitely know you're getting a ticket. But I'm gonna change my shirt now. I'm gonna shower off all this hair because all of it. Alright, so here it is dried. Um, this is just how I like the length of my hair and the way I style it. So obviously if you like it shorter then leave it that long. But now we're gonna show you the finished product. We're gonna show you what it looks like done. All I use is just some Fiber wax, nothing crazy. All right, so there you have it. There's your final product. Please be safe out there. Wash your hands, wipe your bottom, wear a mask, do everything you can to protect yourself if you still have to be at work right now. Thank you guys again. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.